welcome to Level Up. I'm very excited about this tutorial because you voted for it. It was a tight race between text and numbers animation and 3D animation, but we got the winner. Thank you so much for all your votes, ideas, and comments, and I can't wait to share it with you. The best part is that it doesn't matter which office version you have, you can do it. I will show you how to create it with Morph, but also with a regular animation. In the description below, I added the specific time for each part, so you can jump straight to the one you want to see. Before we start, let's turn on the guide. I will right-click outside of the slide and add a horizontal guide. First, create a text box and type 012345. Select all and change the font size to 200. Then apply this font and change the color to blue. We have to also adjust the line spacing to multiple 0.85. I will adjust the box a little bit and right align the text. Hold Shift and Control key, click and drag to copy the box. Then left align the text. Copy it once again, then select all and type percentage sign. Change the font size to 80 points. Let's bottom align it with our zeros. Now I will create another horizontal guide so you can simply hold control key and click and drag the guide to create a copy. Let's adjust numbers in the second box. Select all and type 024680 and so on. We have to continue till I have enough to get to number 56. You can also copy paste the text from the description below. Let's zoom into the middle of the slide. And now I'm going to create a rectangle on top of our numbers. Then hold Shift and Control and create a copy below the numbers. Make sure it touches the bottom of the slide. Now select both, go to Shape Outline and No Outline, then Shape Fill and use the eyedropper to pick up the color of the background. Last thing, I will create a text box below our numbers. Simply type equal sign lorem open parenthesis one close parenthesis and hit enter. I will adjust it a little bit. Make sure it's center aligned and drag it up. Great. Go to Arrange, Align, and Align Center. Now I want to make sure that our number with percentage sign is also center aligned. First, adjust the right side of the percentage sign, then select all of them and group. Then go to Arrange, Align, and Center Align. Now you can ungroup them. This slide is ready, so we can duplicate it, then adjust position of numbers. Click and drag the box to the top till number 5 is between the guides. And let's zoom out and do the same with this right text box. Last step, it's time to apply Morph. Go to Transitions tab and Morph. We can see a small preview, but let's check it out in the full screen. I'll click once and we got this nice scrolling numbers animation. If you have more of transition, then it's really simple and easy. But if you don't, do not worry. I will show you now how to get the same effect with a regular animation. If you like our video so far, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I will reuse the first slide that we created. So just copy paste it, then select two text boxes with the blue numbers. Go to Animations tab, More, Motion Path, and lines. Change effect options to go up. You can see a small preview. I will also open the animation pane. All we have to do is adjust those paths. Now select the first box, find this red dot that indicates the end motion path, then click and drag it up. Remember to hold the shift key to maintain the same alignment. We can adjust it later. Now zoom out completely, then click again on this red arrow and drag it up as much as you can. Then scroll up slowly and click and drag again. If you move your mouse super close to this top area, PowerPoint will start moving it up till you see the last digit 6 between the guides. To adjust the position, 
First, zoom into the center of the slide, then click on the path line to see a preview of last digit. So it's a little bit too low, and we have to adjust the endpoint again. But first, I will check the left side as well. And yes, we have to move it a little bit. And now it's good. The text box on the right is very long. So I will show you a trick how to perfectly adjust this endpoint at the very top of the slide. First, zoom out as much as you can, then go to the Home tab, and we will draw a rectangle very close to that point. But now with this shape selected, zoom in, and it will take you right to that spot. Click on it, and adjust a little bit. Okay, let's check it out. Click once to start the animation. It looks great. You may have to go back and forth a little bit more to find that perfect alignment. Now it's time for something extra. We will create the scrolling effect with the picture behind. This time I will reuse the slide with the motion path animation. You can also use the one with morph, then just make sure to put the picture in the same spot on both of them. I have a picture prepared already. You can also find a link to it in the description below. Then right click on the picture and send to back. Now select the picture, copy and paste, go to the format tab and align to the center and then to the middle of the slide. Right click on the picture, then select crop button and click and drag the top part of the picture till it snaps to our box below. Adjust the sides of the picture as well. By holding Ctrl key, you will crop both sides at the same time. Then click outside of the slide area to save all the changes. And now we have to repeat the same step. Ctrl V, align to the center and to the middle. Right click on the picture and crop. Click and drag the bottom black bar till it snaps to our shape. Adjust the right side and click outside of the slide area to save the changes. And delete the boxes in the back. Let's check out how the animation plays. It looks nice, but as you can see, there are those sharp lines of the picture. I would like our numbers to come from behind the mountain and then disappear in the clouds. First, let's select the top picture and copy it. Then right click and select crop. Make it around half of its height. Then paste the picture that we copied, go to the shape effects, soft edges, and select this option. You see it has a very nice soft edge right now. The other crop picture underneath will fully cover moving numbers to the top edge of the slide. Now we have to modify the bottom picture. Click on it, go to Format tab, and Remove Background. Click on Mark Areas to Keep, and simply draw a line on the fragment of the picture that you want to keep. Everything that is in this pink color will become invisible. We have to play a little bit with this, because once you click on a lighter part, PowerPoint may disappear the other lighter parts, but as long as we have a sharp top edge of the mountain and fully cover the bottom picture, we're good to go. And click on Keep Changes. Now time to clean up the slide a little bit and delete text box that is hiding in the back. Let's check it out again. It looks great. You can adjust the distance between those two blocks of the text if you want, as long as it doesn't overlap completely while it's scrolling up. And the animation is ready. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up, maybe a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.